one that we don't know. Breaking news out of Madison, pro-Palestinian demonstrators escorted out of UW's commencement ceremony this afternoon. Video showing people carrying Palestinian flags at Camp Randall. That news comes just one day after the pro-Palestinian encampment at UW-Madison was removed. An agreement made Friday between students and the administration. But as 12 News' Mallory Anderson shows us in Milwaukee, the encampment on UWM's campus is still up with no sign signs of coming down. Dozens of tents remain here on the lawn outside of Mitchell Hall at the corner of Kenwood and Downer in Milwaukee. While UW Madison's demonstration wrapped up on Friday, UWM students are not backing down. As a part of their deal, UW Madison has agreed to connect protesters with decision makers who control university investments by July 1st so students can present their demands to the UW Foundation. Though no agreement has been made with UWM protesters and admin, the Madison agreement could be of interest to them. The local demonstrators have continually expressed one of their main demands is that the UWM Foundation discloses their finances and investments potentially connected to the occupation of Palestine. While the UWM protesters would not provide someone for us to talk to on Saturday, they did tell us previously in the week that they have met with university leaders multiple times over the last week. Chancellor Mark Mone said Wednesday in a message that if the encampment doesn't end soon, UWM will have to take action to ensure that it does. Our Matt Smith caught up with him that same day. Encampments are um, at a place where we, we value the peace, we value the, the, um, uh, the meaning of what's going on, um, but we also know it's illegal and um, we do see um, the very, very distinct possibilities for ends of this uh, coming around the corner. Is there a timeline on that from your perspective? Um, we we uh, do have a timeline in mind, but but I'm not really able to share that yet. Part of the agreement between the UW Madison protesters and their administration is that they agreed to have the camp removed ahead of graduation and that they would not disrupt any of the ceremonies. So far, no agreement has been made here in Milwaukee ahead of UW Milwaukee's graduation next Sunday. Reporting from Kenwood and Downer in Milwaukee, Mallory Anderson, WISN 12 News. And if you'd like to read the full agreement between UW-Madison protesters and school leaders, we've got a link in this article on the 12 News app.